All right, I'm gonna unbox the Pace Setter 72C 2239 headers, I believe is the part number. Uh, it's for an LT1 Camaro uh, 95, which is a little bit different than the 93s and 94s, and then again from the 96, 97s. Uh, the 95 has the single catalytic converter uh, OBD1 engine management system. I ordered the race headers. No air fittings, no EGR fittings, uh, because that's all going to be deleted. But here's the headers. Ordered from Summit Racing. Don't mind the gloves. I like to do wear gloves when I touch anything with a coating. Just keep fingerprints off, things like that. Um, here's the box. I was kind of skeptical because the box is not very big. Let me go back out here. I mean, it's a foot tall, maybe. Eight inches wide, but they got them uh, packaged in here. There was no damage to the box, the other than which side was it? Right here. I didn't see anything. It's not touching anything, so I think it just got snagged on something. So I'm gonna pull out the headers quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of lay them on the floor here as a little mock-up. Um, the other thing I have is the Summit Y-Pipe. Pace Setter and Summit both have these Y-Pipes. Ironically, here's the box that the Summit Y-Pipe came in, which I thought was kind of interesting. But that's the Y-Pipe. This is aluminized. It's not ceramic coated or anything like that. It's aluminized steel. Um, there's a little bit of paint here where they did the weld. Uh, and then it comes with of course, the trusty old U-bolt clamps. I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to put lap band clamps on here. Um, what they do is they're a steel clamp, part clamps here and part clamps here, seals it nice and tight. I, the reason I'm going to clamp over welding is because I want to be able to take this apart if I ever have to drop the transmission or anything like that. I don't want to have to cut the pipes. Uh, here at the catalytic converter though, it has to be welded. The LT1s were welded to the converter and then the converter was bolted to the cat back exhaust with a flange, a ball flange type setup. Get this other head around. Packaging is, is decent. You know, you don't need to put bubble wrap or anything like that in there. Um, you know, nothing out of the ordinary or anything like that. I don't see any damage to the package. Give me one second, I'm gonna get them out of the plastic here. All right, I just had to pull them out of the plastic. Um, you know, to be honest with you, first impressions, I am uh, impressed with these. These are one and, I wanna say seven eighths headers coming out. You can tell they're, they're neck down just a little bit to meet the ports. I am really impressed with the flange. This is a nice, thick flange. I like how the header is welded inside the flange. I bought a set of Vortec headers for my pickup, for my pickup, and the the header tube was welded outside of the flange. It was the worst header I've ever owned. It would not seal for anything. I had them on for maybe two days, and I said enough of that, and I took them off and went back to the exhaust manifold. They were horrible. They were pace setters as well. But to be honest with you, I'm really impressed with these O2 sensors fittings. Then you have a slit fit flange here. And how this is going to work is, I'm doing this one handed, so excuse me, I'm just going to slip fit right there. Nice, easy slip fit. And again, I'm putting a, I'll be putting a V band clamp on there, lap band on there, and then welding to the converter. But uh, overall, first impression, I'm really impressed with these. A lot of people run these, and to be honest with you, for the money, you can't beat them. Let's see if I can get a. There's your collector tubes. Overall, not a bad setup.